to talk about something pretty serious. Cancer cases and deaths among men are expected to rise significantly globally by 2050. According to a new study released Monday in the journal Cancer, which is peer-reviewed by the American Cancer Society, researchers estimate an 84% increase in cancer cases and a 93% increase in cancer deaths. For more on this, CBS News Chief Medical Correspondent Dr. John LaPoop joins me now. So I Tarika. think people hear cancer. So many folks have uh, folks in their family or friends they know that have been diagnosed with this. Uh, what are researchers saying what appears to be some of the reason or the explanation for this, this increase? Yeah, well, you know, this is looking specifically at men. And we know from previous research in 2020, there's about a 43% increase in mortality from cancer around the world in men compared to women. So what they did was they said, okay, what, what does this look like in 2050? Mm -hmm. And it turns out it translates to about 5 million more deaths from cancer per year uh, in men in 2050 compared to now. And, you know, you look at asking about reasons, why would that be? Probably it's, it's complicated. We know that for sure. Mm -hmm. There's not just one type of cancer, but in differences in risk factor. I mean, around the world, smoking is a lot more common in men than women. Same thing with alcohol. Both of those are risk factors for cancer. What is the silver lining in this? To know that the information is telling us you're more likely to have cancer, men. Yeah. Does this mean more likely now than to get checkups? Yeah, well, that's screened. what we hope. You know, um, you know, the good news is that about 40 percent of cancers and 44 percent of cancer deaths are from in the United States are from things that are preventable, that you can adjust your lifestyle and change them. So that's power, right? Mm -hmm. uh, preventative screenings. We know I'm a gastroenterologist. Colonoscopy absolutely can diagnose early cancers and also remove benign polyps, take them out before they have a chance to become cancer. And then we have mammography uh, in women and skin checks and, you know, on and on and on. So I think th that is empowering for people. And there were some things just uh, on the graphic there that you can do to limit your chances. So that's, you know, yeah. never smoke about, about 30. Yeah. 30 percent of all yeah. cancer deaths are from tobacco and then there's alcohol. Be the right weight. All the stuff that people we all have tough, tough time doing. Right? right. Exercise, limit your alcohol intake. But the um, knowledge is power, for knowledge sure. Knowledge is power, that's for sure, Jerusalem. All right, Dr. John LaPook, always great to see you on set.